What's going on everyone? Lander Alpha here and today we're participating in the Animation Week 2020 event in Pokemon Go. Basically that's an event based off of episodes from Pokemon Journeys the series and so we're going to be participating in uh, some shiny hunting and some timed research and the like to see what this event is all about. It's based off of the show, but what about the show? So let's take a look here at some of the details. During this event, Pokemon encounters and other content with ties to the two main characters, Ash and Go, will be available in Pokemon Go. You'll be able to participate in the event exclusive timed research inspired by the animated series storyline. That's really cool. So let's take a look a little bit more about what's going on here. It already started, but it started on Thursday the 5th. Today is Saturday the 7th, and we have until November the 16th at 1 p.m. Pacific time to participate in the event. And of course, Lugia is now back in race. Our Dark Rise out, Lugia is in. Uh, and I had not gotten a shiny one this time, or I've done somewhere around a dozen raids or so, and we're still working on that. Uh, we had the time research uh, inspired by multiple episodes of the ongoing series, uh, Pokemon Journeys the series, Go Might Appear and Go Snapshots. Go inspired avatar items will be available in the style shop. And Lucky Trains may even hatch or catch a shiny Cubone. Now, Cubone is not new, but it is an event and it is boosted more in the wild. Not the shiny rate, but the spawn rate. So we'll see what happens with getting shiny from this event. So all I have to say is, let's do this thing. So while we may not have a lot of daylight left, you can see behind me the sun's already gone down. We're gonna be out here shiny hunting. We have photobombs to do. We can encounter Scyther with Go photobombing off of these photobombs. Of course, Scyther can be shiny. As a matter of fact, I got a shiny Scyther. It was my first shot Scyther of the event. So you can take a look at that screenshot right there. And here are the other Pokemon that are appearing in the wild, including World Cat Pikachu. I'm very excited about that because I did not get that during its spotlight hour. And we are going to be getting that, ladies and gentlemen. You bet your, your bottom dollar on that one. And of course, eggs. Shiny Riolu and eggs. Is it worth getting all these 7 kilometer eggs to get Shiny Riolu? We'll see if I hatch any. I have to gather more of those eggs because I'm incubating some to get rid of them so I can get 7 kilometer eggs. So we're going to try to get some of those incubated up. And then uh, we'll see what happens. And then Lugian raids. We need to do more of those because I need the shiny. Let's get in the car, let's go. Now while it is a little bit dark outside to be running around and shiny hunting, we're going to be driving around in the car for a bit of this video and we have research from Animation Week that's already been completed because I already started catching stuff and didn't really pay attention to the, the, uh, the research being completed as it was happening and here we are. We're just going to go and claim the rewards and we're going to see what the first Pokemon will be when it appears and that's the berry, that's the potions, that's the balls and let's see what we get here we get some stardust and but we're mainly concerned about this first encounter and it is hey a world cat pikachu unfortunately it's not shiny for me but i'm going to attempt to catch it with the phone balance ever so gently on my leg and there we go so let's see what's going on with step number two Apparently an egg wants to hatch, so we have to wait for step number two, but let's see if this is something interesting. I don't really have confidence in shinies from two kilometer eggs, but there we go. There's a Minchino right there. Let's see what this five kilometer egg is right here. A Voltorb. That would have been really spicy as a shiny Voltorb. I guess everything's popping off now. And this is a Shuppet. Okay. I get to open up a bunch of gifts for seven kilometer eggs. Now, this is awesome, actually. It looks like all the eggs that we're going to hatch have indeed hatched now. Now we have to battle another trainer, the battle in a raid, and we have to win a raid, in which we'll get a, uh, a Sinnoh Stone, some Dust, and XP. While that Executor was not shiny, we completed our research, so that's what really matters the most. I'm sitting here in front of my car's headlights high. Uh, so this is the only light we really have left to use. It's either here or inside the car. So we're gonna do this for right now. And we're gonna claim uh, the rest of our research here. This is step two. I accidentally completed one already. We're gonna get the other two here real quick. And there we go. Let's just pick up the Sinnoh Stone, the Stardust, and the XP. And now we have to defeat three Tingo Rocket Grunts, catch two Pokemon with Weather Boosts, catch three Grass Sight Pokemon for 20 Mega Energy apiece. And then we're gonna have a, uh, a Pokemon appearing. We're gonna have some Stardust and some XP. So let's see if we can find some Rocket Grunts and let's see if we can uh, catch some Weather Boosted Pokemon. That should be easy enough. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. And we'll see if I even complete this all one day. This may even go over into Sunday 
uh, which is obviously tomorrow and um, it's really not a rush to complete this but it would be nice to be able to fit all this within one video for you guys to see what cool stuff might be inside. Now that all of our rocket battles and Pokemon catches are complete for this step, we're gonna go claim all the mega energy right there and we're gonna claim our reward. We have a Pokemon encounter this time for a reward. We're gonna see what it is right now. Look at that Ivysaur, all right. So this is going according to the uh, the episodes uh, in Pokemon Journeys, the first, I heard someone say first 11 episodes, since there are 11 steps to this research. So I'm just gonna go off of that since I don't know anything better than that uh, with that information. So we're gonna go yo, like that. All right, we're gonna catch that and we're gonna get to uh, the next step of the research. And now that that part is completed, we have give your buddy three treats Earn a heart with your buddy and earn a candy walking with your buddy. So this should be pretty simple to complete. So let's get the buddy walking. Let's get it fed. And let's see what happens uh, when we claim the rewards on this step. I'm back it may not look like day two but this is actually Sunday again I'm back out here after dark due to a busy day uh, for me well it's doing some editing uh, to prep for editing this vlog and also had church and now we're out here completing more research and yet we're out here doing uh, the uh, last step we had beforehand uh, from the previous day if that makes sense I forget what step it is I'll show it on the screen if I have if I'm able to look it up and uh, see which one it was if I happen to remember we're gonna clear this out really quick I'm gonna see what the reward is going to be. Let's claim that reward really quickly. And let's see what the encounter is. It's gonna be a Snorlax. Awesome, so I'm gonna catch this really quick. We're gonna get back in the car and do some more driving around. And I actually have something really awesome to show you from something that happened earlier today. All right, let's get going. Step number five, I think, uh, after the Snorlax is complete, we're gonna pick all this good stuff up and we're gonna see what we're gonna get for an encounter. Uh, Venonat, okay. Now we're gonna claim the rewards here. Here we go. Come on, we got the dust, XP, and encounter. Scyther, which is not shiny, but has a pretty good chance of being shiny when you're out and about looking around for spawns and shiny checks. So make sure you catch and or check at least if you don't want to catch all them. Check all the scyther that you can, and that was not a good toss. And we finally caught it. There it is. Awesome. 16 out of 30 different species. We're completing uh, another research set from something different over here somewhere with uh, investigating mysterious energy so if you're seeing that continue to go up i'm a little behind on that but we're working on that right now anyway now we need to battle gym two times we need to win a gym battle we need to battle another trainer sounds like we have some work to do regarding that so we need to go find a gym to go battle and we need to battle each other my wife and i she's hanging over here and um let's get this step done <laughs> Well, that was pretty easy. We took care of that. We're gonna claim that TM right there, uh, that potion. We're gonna see what this encounter is. And it's gonna be uh, Hariyama, big boy, okay. Hariyama's been caught and is perfect attack. That's kind of nice. I'm not gonna use it, but it's cool that we have it. Ooh, Vulpix here really quick. Not shiny, had to check it though. And let's see what else we have here. We have to get the rewards for this. We have to claim this charge TM the dust, the XP, and now we have to hatch an egg. We have to spend three Pokestops or gems, and then we get to see whatever that encounter is after that. Uh, so let's see if we can hatch an egg. That's gonna be the hardest part of this, but I already have eggs incubated up. There are the eggs right there. Let's see what happens next. Alrighty, we're down by the riverfront now. We're here to take a look at the last step of research which we had to do. We're gonna see what the rewards are from here, and uh, let's get it going. Number one. Tentacool. Number two, 
Krogunk, not shiny, unfortunately. And number three, let's take a look and see about that one. Piplup, unfortunately, not shiny. No shinies from this research uh, storyline so far, but we're gonna see about the research reward here. Let's take a look. Animation week, step number, I don't remember if this is five or six. Uh, here we go, let's see what the encounter is. And it's a Psyduck. Okay, so let's go and quick catch this as well. I'm gonna check the IVs on all the Pokemon we just got here. Let's go and appraise this one, Tentacle. Not too shabby. Krohunk, nah. But this Piplup, not that great. Psyduck is a 98. Let's flip and go. Okay, that's really cool. We're gonna mark that one. Uh, that's a really cool Psyduck. 98 IV right there. And then we're gonna see what the next step of the research is gonna be. And we have to make three nice throws in a row. Catch a flying type Pokemon and purify a shadow Pokemon. Let's quick catch this Wobbuffet here. All right, that's two great throws in a row. And then this last one will hopefully be three. Let's purify one of these Omanyte. How about that? And then the next thing we need to do is get a flying type Pokemon caught. So we're gonna go take a look and find someone, something or somewhere around here. Maybe it's gonna be drive around a little bit. We'll have to find something around. And let's look at the, look at the IVs here. Not bad, 89. All right, let's get moving. We're almost done with this research. We have a few more steps to go, and uh, this may end up being concluded back at the house. So, see you there. I think we're at the last step because this is all just claim reward for 1000 XP a piece. We're gonna claim all that and we're gonna see what the last encounter is gonna be with a thousand dusts and 1000 XP. Let's see what the reward is. It's a well had Pikachu. Unfortunately, not a shiny one, but it's another one nonetheless. So I'm gonna catch this. We're gonna get back home. We're gonna wrap up the vlog and talk about everything that happened during this event. Now that I'm back at home, we could talk a little bit more about the Animation Week events and things that happen on and off camera. Now, unfortunately, while I was on camera, we didn't see any shinies appear on the screen. And that happens from time to time. I'm not like a magician. I can't make shinies appear just like that. But shinies did happen. As you saw at the beginning, there was that screenshot of that shiny Scyther that I got. I was actually at home uh, before I went out to go shooting anything related to this video. And I just got a shiny Scyther just while at home, wild spawn and everything, no instance involved whatsoever. The really, really cool thing is, and you guys are gonna start noticing a pattern here if you haven't done so already, is that <laughs> things keep happening in Pokemon Go while I'm like laying in bed, like just getting either the day started or wrapping a day. So I was hatching my first batch of seven kilometer eggs uh, when something happened on the second egg. Yeah, that's right. That's another shiny Riolu. I hadn't seen a shiny Riolu since uh, I think the spring event uh, way back earlier in 2020. Uh, and that I got off camera as well. I was not filming at the time when I got that first shiny Riolu. But I have this one now. I think it only makes sense to evolve whichever one is the better. So let's go and evolve shiny Riolu right now. So it looks like this Riolu from April 11th, 2020, like Buena Vista, Florida. Thank you to whoever sent me that egg. First off, I'm not sure who that would be, but thank you anyway. Uh, this is going to be the one to evolve. I have this one and then the one I did hatch, the 539 CP right here from New York, New York. And again, I'm sorry, I'm not sure who sent me that egg. But again, thank you very much for the shiny Riolu. So let's take this one and then we're going to press the evolve button. This is going to be my first ever shiny Lucario. So here goes the evolution right here. I'm actually pretty excited about this. I didn't know when I was going to get another shiny Riolo to even make this evolution happen. And it happened off my first batch of seven kilometer eggs. And in case um, you guys haven't seen like a ton more egg hatches, that a lot more happened than what I did show you guys earlier in the video. 
but nothing really great came of it so i didn't really include it but there are some a gadgets in there for you to enjoy but of course you've seen that at this point and unfortunately a little above the 1500 uh cap right there i'm gonna end up making that my buddy i'm gonna switch out timber for now timber thank you for playing right now i really do appreciate it and let's make uh, some people jealous about the uh shiny lucario shiny riolu luck i should say i kind of don't like it when these things happen off camera but you can't really help it at least we got a couple shinies part of the event so that's really going to do it for me i want to hear about how you guys are doing or how things have gone for you related to animation 2020 a week in pokemon go i want to know if you guys got shiny riolu other shiny pokemon uh 100 iv pokemon zero iv pokemon whatever it is that you guys got in the game that you're proud of i want to hear about that uh, in the comments below make sure you uh you drop it down there for me i would really appreciate that make sure you join our discord uh you can get the link down below in the description to join myself and the rest of the alpha squad for an awesome pokemon community or pokemon go pokemon sword and shield and any other pokemon games that you guys play we want to see uh, all the cool things that you guys are up to. We want to talk to you want to get to know you uh so join our community today we would love to have you all right guys make sure you smash that like button subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified next time i post a video like this one or maybe do a little sneaky YouTube live stream. You never know when something like that could happen. But until then, until next time, guys, peace out, be safe. I'll see you in the next one. Just want you guys to know before I was done editing, got a shiny Wurmple. And just to show you guys in the journal so you can say, hey, did he actually get it on time? 9.08 a.m. It's currently 9.10 a.m. There it is. Let's go! Yes! My first shiny Vulpix! Finally it happened! Let's go! Finally! Yes! I've been dying for this to finally happen. Oh my god.